and it's hard to have the words and then the crescendo there, especially if it's soprano, alto, alto tenor, bass. You've got enough going on there with the words. Yeah. In fact, there's in it's interesting because there's certain um, uh, vocal books where you will see dynamic indications in the piano part. In, in, I was looking at this the other day. There's a Hal Leonard book. It has all these indications in the piano part, and there's no dynamic markings at all in the vocal part. It's like, it's interesting. It's like vocalists don't need them? I don't know. Interesting. So we'll choose mezzo forte, and we'll assign that. Okay. Now, is this a fast way or a slow way to do this? Slow. Right? Yes. You're catching on. That's awesome. Let's say we wanted to put mezzo piano in this voice and this voice and this voice. Okay. Let's create a meta tool. Usually uh, in my routine I do I do forte five mezzo piano mezzo forte four mezzo piano three and piano two. So I want you to press shift four no wait a minute. While pressing three, I want you to click the other two, the other three instruments. Did you see what I just did? Isn't that gorgeous? You could have just pressed three if they were all together and dragged.